Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about text formatting elements of HTML. In this video, we are going to learn about four tags of HTML. First, we will start with the SAMP tag SAMP. This tag is used to define some text as a sample output from computer program on a web page. If you want to display any output of a computer program, then that output we can write in a SAMP tag. Next tag is code tag. If you want to display any piece of computer code on a web page, then that code you can write in a code tag. Next tag is KBD tag. KBD tag is a keyboard input tag. It is used to define keyboard inputs. Means whatever inputs you are passing from the keyboard, that input code you want you can write in a KBD tag. Next one, VAR. It helps to define the variables of a programming code. Next, let's learn all these tags practically. One C programming code I have written here. It is whatever keywords and uh, methods has to use in a C program that I have not taken. This is just a source code I have taken here. And only like algorithm I have taken here. You can be able to understand these tags are used for what purpose here main curly braces i have taken here i have declared a variables i have entered the values here and some both values i am going to add here and then this value i am replacing to some variable next one here i am printing the value of sum and then here values are 50 means after adding this much will be the result next one this is my code this code i want to display on a web page now i am going to save this uh, now i will run here okay this is what will be displayed on a web page this is the code which i want to display on a web page but whole code is displaying in a single line pre formatted element i am going to write here means as it is will be displayed on the web page here see this is my code which i have written uh, in this html program whatever content is displaying on a web page that will be in a different font and here we can see this is the code which i want to display on a web page so this code always has to be write in a code tag so here i am going to close this tag. okay Next one, I am going to save this. Here, I am going to replace. Now, you can see font style of the text has changed. Before, it was displaying in a different format and now it is displaying in a different format. This will be displayed in a monospace font. Next one, this is the code. And here, three variables I am going to declare. For declaring the variables, we have to use var tag. So, here how many variables we are using? Three variables. So, these variables we have to declare inside the var. So, I don't want comma here. Only I need to declare variables inside the var tag. Okay. Here I am closing, opening a variable. And here I am going to close the variable tag. Okay, this is what my variables, three variables I am declaring. Now, you can observe here, whenever I take a re refresh here, that font will change to italic here. You can see here, A, B and sum is changing to italic format. Next, enter 5 and 10. 5 and 10 are the keyboard values. I am entering these two values from the keyboard. So, these two I have to write within keyboard. Here I am going to end this KBD because this I am entering from keyboard. And here the end of KBD. See, these two values I am going to enter from the keyboard. Values are 15 is the output here. So, always output has to write within this sample. 
see here define some text as a sample output from computer program so this is what sample control s run i hope you all might have understood what different tags are used for what purpose to display code on web pages thanks for watching my video don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel